Look, honey. It's the fucking handicap. It's the handicap again. Fucking his shit up. <laughs> Is it on? It's not even on. Right down. There you go. It's on now. Just give it gas. Is it turbo on? How can you, how do you know? Push a button. If it's, really? yeah. All right, now it's off turbo. How do you know? Push it in. Now it's in turbo. Now it's off turbo. Give it gas. Yeah, because you, you can go fast. Now that's go slow. I want to go that fast. Yeah, well now you're going normal. Let's go. I gotta get used to this shit again. What? Uh, because I, I used to ride it standing up. I used to ride it standing up, so I put it to the position of my hand. Oh, no, I most water. So we're going this way. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, yeah, it feels like this here, but wait till we get over there. It's gonna be cold if it's all too really. You wanna go back and, and put on a hoodie? Are you sure? Yeah, I think you can You you hit like that? Yeah. How? Huh? I already said I was turning, but I guess it's because I feel like if I turn more, I was gonna like turn this way, like tilt. So I don't know why I like stayed like this and like all this metal so like this. I feel like a cheese grinder. <laughs> turn, push the button. This one? No, no, no. Over on the other side for the lights. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's go. I'm getting my legs. I don't give a fuck. Oh. You hear the peel out? Yeah. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a review on the Uber Scoot 1600 watt um, electric scooter. Um, this is my cousin, he actually weighs about the same as me, 280, and so I'm going to sit there, I'm going to record him so you can see how he looks on it, so you can get an idea and uh, we're gonna take it through some grass here's the trails we go but we're gonna take some to the grass over there so you can see how it handles him uh now th this one does come with off-road tires uh so it is going to do much better on the grass Oh, be careful, Vogue, be careful. So as you can see, it's handled him pretty well on the grass. And he has it off uh, turbo mode too as well. I told him to take it off turbo mode so uh, he doesn't fall and get hurt. Hold on, hold on. Poncho! He just left. So guys, this is actually what I was talking about, where I want to come fishing right here in this creek. Uh, this is the creek. See how there, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's like a little waterfall uh, out there. And so I want to definitely see if there's any fish. I think there is, because this is all connected to a creek, or I mean, a, a little lake, a lake. So there should be. I don't think my cousin heard me when I told him to stop, so he's way up there.
Hey, how's it going? All right, guys, so we, he's gonna take it downhill. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this is a pretty steep hill, and we'll see how it does pulling him uphill. You might have to put it in turbo mode to get uphill. Okay, so without turbo mode, it does struggle to go uphill. I know for a fact, um, my brother's about 170, and uh, he drove that and he went straight up a, a dirt hill. Um, and I went, I went straight up the dirt hill as well with my Apollo Pro. So, I mean, if you're within the weight, you know, if you're lower weight, you're not gonna have any issues. But I'm just doing a test right now and see how it would handle with a bigger guy or a heavier set uh, guy riding this. Now, most of the time, people are probably not gonna use this to go off-roading, but this is just to show you what the Uber Scoot is capable of. I mean, the grass is pretty thick. I don't is it, is it struggling? You know, if I was lighter, it would go up. Is it, you have it on turbo? Yeah. Okay. Dang, it went down to yellow. Did it really? Yeah. Well, it's green right now, but since I'm not. Yeah, let's just go, come on. Okay, so as you can see, it did all right for him. Most, like I said, most people are probably not gonna be riding on the scooter in, in, in conditions like this. Um, and this is a pretty steep hill. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it's probably at least seven, eight pitch right here. So I'm going about 13 miles an hour right now. And as you can see, he's pulling ahead of me. He is going a bit faster than me. So he has it off uh, turbo mode right now and he's going about 15 miles an hour off turbo mode um, on eco mode. And it's pulling him at 15 miles an hour at a steady pace. Dog, let's see how fast he can get it to on turbo mode. Uh, be careful. You see this what I mean? All these creeks connect. Like this creek connects to the creek that I showed you over there. So, and this connects to a lake that's up there or on the other side. Uh, this also connects to another lake that's about five miles away from here. Where like the runoff, when it rains too much, it goes down here. What is this? What's going on in there? All right guys, so this looks like it's a, a maze, a Christmas tree maze entrance. That's what it says. All right, let's go in this maze. Ah, oh, dead end. Go straight, Poncho. This is a dead end over here. Yeah, what a waste. You got to be a special... You got to be able to, to balance your scooter really good for you to ride this thing. Because <laughs> you got to go really slow. Please stay off this place. He's gonna take more than a little broken arm and a broken rib to stop me. We made it. Why is there a gate right there? Let me go check this out. Let me go investigate this. Shit, I'm scared. What if I run into a crackhead? Bro. Smells like straight butthole over here. Damn, this place is badass. There was like a homeless nest over there. There was like shoes and shirt and pants and a, I'm not, 
At least it was a homeless man on my bed. A can of fucking fruit. Come on, fool. So this is first Monday. This is where they have like the they sell animals and and horses and chickens and all kinds of stuff. Well, it's a flea market, I guess. I bet you this bitch looks badass at night, dude. To the right. To the left, I'm sorry. What's up? Did you bottom out? That shit hurt, dude. All right. Damn. Here's a review of the Uber Scooter 1600. My take. So, the scooter is all very good. Um, it does, like I said, it does carry your weight pretty good. Um, up to you know two he's 280 and it carries him fine it doesn't even struggle you saw i showed you um it does have the shock so it is a little bit comfortable it does come with the seat and that's one of the things that i like is it comes with the seat and you can take it on and off and like scooters like these that are more high-end they don't come with with a uh a seat you got to get that extra or, or pay extra for that and so that's one of the pros um another pro is the tires I like the tires because you can go pretty much anywhere. They do have a lot of grip. They do have dual disc brakes. This does charge faster than my Apollo Pro. This takes about six hours to charge versus my Apollo Pro it takes about 12 hours. I, I do have two chargers, so it cuts that time in half. So now it does uh, take as long as the Uber Scoot to charge, but I had to buy a, a, a second charger for that. Um, and this doesn't. So um, <clears throat> another thing, one other thing I like is it does come with a headlight and it does come with a horn uh, versus like the Apollo Pro or anything like that where this is an expensive scooter and it comes with a with a freaking a bike bell like come on man for that price I expect a, a good horn and the nice thing about this is when you fold it down it sits on on the bottom of of the scooter so it's not ro uh, rolling around or, or falling side to side all right guys so now for the cons the cons I would say is uh, it is a little bit of a of a, of a big like the battery compartment it's it's kind of it's too wide it's not it's too thick and as you can see you don't have much clearance on the uh, on the bottom so when you do go over like big humps or anything like that you do bottom out sometimes another con is going to be uh, of course this is a chain driven scooter so it is loud i know you you probably could hear it in the video it is it is pretty loud um you do have to maintain the chain grease it up uh lube it up to make sure it's always gonna be in good working order. Another thing is they're just regular batteries. They're not like the lithium ion batteries uh, the newer scooters have. So they are much bigger batteries and they don't last as long the charge and they're not as powerful. So you can always swap that out with the, the good battery. Um, I think they're like 300 bucks and that should give you a better, a little bit of better speed and uh, a better battery life. So you should be able to have more, more time riding your scooter before it dies so this scooter does wobble once you start going really high speed that's one of the of the cons about it i don't know if that's just because we're heavy guys or if it might it might, it might be different for a lighter person but um i don't know if you saw in the video did you feel it when you started going fast whenever i told you i put it on uh on turbo yeah i knew I it felt it like i, I started slowing down because i remember you told me that if i turn it all the way up i was just gonna start uh, yeah like wobbling i felt that yeah so i just like started slowing down i'll uh, be careful this is also a, a great scooter with a seat to learn how to drive uh, or to get unafraid of, of standing up and riding it um, if you're a bigger guy because when you when you stand up on the scooter you can rest the back of your legs right here in these creases of the seat and 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 so when you take off you give it gas and it, and it, it wants to like the scooter wants to pull go under your pull you under your feet uh, this will stop it your legs will just hit that what's your opinion poncho on it I like it like I would, for, the, for that price, I would buy it. Like I said, only thing, just add a speaker to it and be the perfect scooter for me. Yep. And I'm not used to riding without this, so that's pretty nice. And the rims on the Uber Scoot look sick. You can't tell me the rims don't look badass. Somebody's actually trying to fish over here. There's a bobber stuck right there. Who would try to fish here? This thing looks nasty. It's stagnant.
There's a truck coming. Just go to the side of the road. Go to the side of the road. Yeah, right there, you'll be fine. Oh, he's still way the fuck back there. Come on, dude. What? I almost didn't see that. You almost truck. ran into that motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see whenever he was like right here, I was like, oh. The cool story is you can still be big and have fun. Yep. Alrighty, guys. My name's Edgar. See you in the next one.